Hey friends, good morning. As you probably hear, my dishwasher is running, which that made me wake up like on the wrong foot. Like I have been unloading the dishwasher every morning for like the past three mornings and trying to get into like a new routine of getting it done and then like loading it as we use dishes throughout the day. Well, this morning I wake up and the lights are flashing on it, which this dishwasher does sometimes. It just doesn't want to complete the cycle in the middle of the night when I run it. And so then I wake up and the dishwasher is not ready to be unloaded, which is really frustrating because one, I can't unload the dishwasher now and put our dishes in there for breakfast. And two, I couldn't have what I wanted for breakfast because the air fryer basket is in there and it had like cooked on mozzarella cheese and I wasn't gonna try to clean that by hand this morning, but I wanted to try, hold on, let me grab them. I don't know why I said try. Uh, we, we did try these. These are the breakfast meatballs with bacon, egg, and cheddar cheese. And I was gonna make them this morning, but I remembered to tell y'all that we tried them. Well, I was in, I made them in the air fryer before. I guess you could make them in the oven, but that would have taken a lot longer. Or the microwave. I don't think I would like the texture in the microwave. But we liked them in the air fryer. I did them for like 10 minutes on 350 and they turned out perfect and we already like we know we like the maple french toast ones um one of the kids i think said that they like these better lily was that you yes lily likes these better me and elijah prefer the sweet ones lily likes the more savory ones so so i couldn't make those this morning because the air fryer basket was dirty so just too much has gone wrong this morning, but I'm com I'm participating in this like 21 day challenge of completing one small daily activity to help make your life better. He has suggestions on his website of like things you could do, like meditate for 10 minutes, um, go for a walk every day for the 21 days. Um, I can't remember what the other ones are, but you could also just choose your own. And I did it last month and my small daily activity was to read for at least 15 minutes every day and i did that i completed that 21 day challenge and then he's doing another one this month and my challenge is to do a nightly tidy and like dishes done and counters wiped off in the kitchen at the bare minimum um because i've gotten off of my routine of doing that so i want to get back into it so this little 21 day challenge is supposed to help me with that and then the main thing that has been helping me with that is unloading the dishwasher in the morning which i can't do this morning and i just realized you kids put your fake pretend pot on the drying mat with the rest of the pots yes look <laughs> ah that's a kid's pretend pot this this red one on the drying mat with the other ones oh we were drinking drinking out cat. Oh, that was your cat food bowl? Our from cat last night? Bowl. We were drinking like cats. <laughs> Don't really have anything big planned for the day. It's just a regular day around the house. Got some stuff to do around the house though. So I thought I would bring you along for a day in the life. And by now, I was just waiting for our cheese to melt on our scrambled eggs. So by now, yeah, that's all melted. So I'm gonna go ahead and make our plates. Okay, here is breakfast. So the kids each have scrambled eggs with cheese and then they have a little mini bagel with strawberry cream cheese. And then they each have a banana. I have scrambled eggs with cheese with some hot sauce on top. Mini bagels with strawberry cream cheese and then I have blueberries on top of that. Okay, trying to get ready to go for our walk. Um, I really need to wash my hair. Um, but we're gonna do that tonight. So I have dry shampoo in it, brush it out. Um, I'm gonna do my hair the same way I did on the grocery haul Tuesday's video, which I wanted to say thank you all for the super kind comments. You guys were so nice telling me you love my outfit or I am cute or I'm adorable or my hair was cute or my makeup is pretty and that just made me feel really, really good. So thank you all for the super kind comments. Um, we are about to just go for our usual walk. I just don't want my hair up in a bun all day, so I'm just gonna 
do this hairstyle to make me feel cute again because whenever I wear my hair like this, it makes me feel cute. Um, I never wore like cute hairstyles as a kid. Like my mom never really did anything with my hair. I never really knew how to do anything with my hair. So when I can figure out how to do something with my hair that I like, it makes me feel good. Cause uh, yeah, I don't curl my hair or anything like that. Cause I really don't know how. Like the most I really do is like straighten my hair. I do have that crimper that I do sometimes, but it just takes a lot of effort and I don't like a lot of effort. Damn psoriasis flakes I have scalp psoriasis um and so you might see white flakes in my hair because yeah just whatever it's whatever just wing it just go with it but yeah this hairstyle is really easy and I feel like it hides pretty well the fact that I need to wash my hair so I try to do it pretty often. Sometimes I'll add little like, oh goodness, clips in it too. Like I have a whole basket over here of like butterfly clips and stuff. That really makes me feel like I'm healing my inner child. Um, I think I just did this one backwards. It's fine. There we go. Done with the hair. And then for makeup, as I said, we're really not doing anything today. I am just going to put on some um, what is this? CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion. It has SPF, which we're going on a walk, so definitely need SPF. This is almost gone though, so I have to uh, do this. Oh God. Um, shoot, that's too much. Yesterday I could barely get anything out of here, and now today it like wants to explode all over the place. Um, and then I will just put on some mascara and um, I can't make it. What is that called? Brow gel. There we go. I'm tired. Um, one of the things I need to do today is clean this bathroom. If you guys can see it right now, it's awful. But uh, slowly trying to get the house back in order, cleaned up. My sister will be here next week, like the day before Valentine's Day, she will be here. So I wanna get the house cleaned up for that. Um, we're gonna have everybody over for dinner one night while she's here. Um, so my brother and his wife, and my stepdad, aunt, uncle, obviously my sister and her boyfriend Troy here from Florida, just to kind of hang out and have family together. Rex is losing it. What's he barking at? What is he barking at? Come here, Rex, come here. Hey, no, I had to lock him in here with me because he's going crazy first. I think maybe somebody walking on the sidewalk. Hey, can you chill? Here's the boy who won't stop barking. I know all of you want to see him because he's so cute and you love him. They love you, do you know that? They do. What? I wanna see you. You wanna see me? You yeah. don't wanna be on the camera. What? It's okay. It's okay. People are allowed to walk down the street. It's okay. It's okay. It's like 40 degrees right now, um, so I'm just gonna wear the flannel. That should be enough. It's supposed to be like 60 degrees today. Um, so, not cold, it'll be a nice day. I'm gonna put on my Under Armour shoes and we're gonna go for our walk. Oh, I see him. Brown now.
back from our walk. We are going to do some school. First, we are going to listen to our read aloud. Um, what we're, this is like for me to read like our literature book. And then they have a different book that they can either read independently, but usually like we do popcorn reading. I think I've mentioned that before. Um, and that's their like reader that's more like their level for reading. This is a little bit like above their reading level, but they can listen to it and still comprehend it. Um, we use Build Your Library. I think I've mentioned that before. So we are listening because my voice gets shot all the time from all the talking that I do, like for school, like reading stuff aloud. So if I can find an audiobook of it, I like to get that so that I don't have to do all of the reading. So we have the audiobook version of The Penderwicks. Um, so we'll listen to that. I like to follow along with the book because I find it very hard to pay attention um, unless I'm doing something else. Like I can listen to audiobooks if I'm reading or like cleaning and stuff that I can pay attention. Sometimes my mind does wander and then I have to like go back. But if I can follow along with the book, then I'm good. The kids don't seem to struggle with that as much as long as they have something that they can do. Um, they will either draw or play with slime. Um, what else do you do? Play with fidget toys anything to kind of have like a little bit of a sensory input while they listen and they can um, comprehend the story really well uh, if they have something to do with their hands. So, what are you gonna do, Lily, while we listen to this? Draw. Draw. And Elijah's already got his slime board out. Maybe I will draw some so I will get paper. So you're gonna go ahead and get your stuff ready to draw in case you want to draw and you change your mind halfway through. Um, I think we're only reading one chapter today unless they push me to do two. I think the like the lesson plans, like the curriculum only has you reading one today. But yesterday they wanted two, so they might want two again today because they really like the story. Um, and then their reader that we we won't go straight from the Penderwicks into their reader. We'll probably do math or um, language like arts or even science first we'll see like how things are going but we won't go straight from one book to the next book but this is what they are reading 26 Fairmount Avenue by Tommy D. Paola I don't know how to say his last name he wrote like the Strega Nona books um, and other books too but this is a chapter book and we each have our own copy checked out from the library whenever I can check them out from the library I do that too because save money and before we get started, I wanted to mention the last book that was a read aloud was Ban This Book. And this we loved, right guys? Yeah. yeah. It was a very good story and I feel like it's very uh, relevant to like current news of books being banned and stuff. Um, and then it has like a list on the back of all the books that were like initially banned at this girl's school. and. Some of them we've read before, some of them we plan on reading. I know some of them are actually in the curriculum for like the next year. So yeah, and then I've, we're reading another book because we have another book that we read at night that's just like for fun. Um, and it's Escape from Mr. Limoncello's Library and they've mentioned some of these books in that book. Like I know they've mentioned the Egypt game in that book. So that's pretty interesting. But like Captain Underpants is on here, Goosebump books. So if you're interested in that, I think it's a very cute book that is relevant to the current times. But we are going to go ahead and get some school done. Okay, we are done with school. I, well, we're not done. We're done for now. It's like 12.30. And they're playing some Minecraft now with friends, right? Oh, not with friends. So we were just talking about how you can play with friends, like with the new update. Okay, anyway, um, I'm gonna make myself some coffee. I have cold brew, as you can see here, but I want it a little bit stronger. So I'm gonna take some of this instant coffee and put like a tablespoon of it 
with a little bit of water and it'll be like a shot of espresso added to my cold brew. Um, lately, most of the time, I just make coffee with that instant coffee. That's what I've been doing lately. Um, I think I mentioned that in a vlog previously. Um, how I saw somebody do it on TikTok and basically you're making like an iced latte. Uh, you just mix some of this instant with water, shake it up until it's all mixed up. Need a little bit more. Um, and I've just been doing it in a mason jar or like this is an old salsa jar. So that's what I've been doing. I thought I changed the battery in the camera, but it's flashing at me that it's dying again. Did I put the dead one back in the camera? I might have done that. Um, so that's all mixed up. I'm going to add some ice. And usually I would just top this with milk and then some a little bit of creamer. But today I am going to top it with this uh, cold brew that I made. Lots of caffeine for today. Okay. That should be enough. And then I am going to do a little bit of milk. Okay, I definitely did put the dead battery back in the camera when I thought I changed the battery because it just died. But I've got my uh, cold brew in there with a little bit of instant coffee that I made. And then I am going to add some milk. I'm using the lactose-free 2% milk from Aldi. I would prefer Fairlife, but they didn't have any. So we're going to do a little bit of this. And then... I have the Mean Girls uh, Pink Frosting Creamer, and it really is pink, and it's delicious. I love it. Even Andy kind of liked it. Um, he said it tastes like a strawberry frosted donut, and it definitely has, like, strawberry-ish, but it's, it's so good. The foam on this is going crazy. How much creamer can I add before it's too much? Okay, that's probably good. All right. That straw is probably too short. Damn it. There you go, straw for no reason. That one was too short. Okay. Making a mess. Am I gonna Yeah, that's perfect. Are you in the So, dishwasher is done. I'm gonna unload that and then probably sit down for a few minutes and then figure out what we're gonna do for lunch. Figured out what we're having for lunch. I have these, can you tell? They're little mini naans. Had these in the freezer. I've got a whole nother pack of them too. Um, and these thaw out like pretty quickly. So we're gonna have little mini pizzas for lunch. Um, I'm about to preheat the oven to 425 and while it's preheating, just throw this pan in there with some of these on there and then they will be thawed out and ready to top with stuff as soon as the oven is preheated because right now they're pretty solid. Um, I did this like last week um i was just making it for myself because the kids had already eaten lunch um, and i did it in the air fryer but i don't think six of these would fit very well on my like air fryer basket so i'm just going to do it in the oven today um 425.
Okay, here is lunch. I did them in the oven on 425 for 10 minutes after I put the toppings on and then I broiled them at the end for one minute to get the pepperonis nice and crispy because that's what we like and then we just have cucumber and carrots and ranch and then Lily also has some tomatoes All right, so we're basically done with school now. This was our experiment to see if the food coloring would mix into the hot water faster or the cold water faster. This is the hot over here, and you can see it's basically already green. This one over here was the cold water, and it's hard for y'all to probably tell because it's on this like board, but uh, this has not mixed like hardly at all. The color just like settled to the bottom in the cold but it's like really mixed in the hot and why does it do that guys because the water molecules go faster in hot and mm -hmm. slower in cold yep i put these on just for fun yeah she's got safety goggles on <laughs> I have safety goggles you on just have glasses. regular glasses <laughs> she just put them on she's oh. like science experiment perfect time to wear goggles <laughs> even though Hold it's on. literally just water <laughs> So, we are, are you going to put them on <laughs> over your glasses? Yeah, I did, I did that with our geo thing. Yeah. So you could see what you were doing better. Your nose. <laughs> Super cute. No one's got my cat ears on. You need your cat ears back on? I have cat ears. Yeah. And they match, match my shirt. Oh. So yeah, that was our science experiment for the day. We are done with science now. Oh and it's 3.15, so we're going to chill for a little bit. I need to clean the bathroom soon, but um, that's it for now. So the kids are currently outside playing, and I was like, okay, sweet. I'm going to go ahead and fold that laundry that I put in the dryer earlier. I didn't start it. I got distracted putting clothes into the washer, and I forgot to actually start the dryer. So, can't fold that laundry yet, but I do have all of my stuff I need to hang up that I didn't do yesterday. I folded the laundry yesterday and then uh, didn't hang anything up. So I'm gonna do this real quick. I was like, oh, I'll fold the laundry and sit down and watch an episode of my show. And no, can't do that because I had to start the dryer since I, since I didn't do that. So I guess after this, I'll clean the bathroom. It's a wreck as I mentioned earlier. I also need to take out the trash. Tomorrow is a uh, trash day, so I'm gonna get all the trash from both bathrooms and under my desk and the kitchen and take all of that out. 
Um, I don't know if y'all know this trick that I'm doing. You just lay everything out the way you want it to go. I don't remember where I saw this like years ago. You lay everything out in one nice flat pile. Put this over here. And then, I oh, can't really see this. Okay, I have all the shirts facing one direction. Nice flat pile. I'm just gonna fold the, the necks towards me and then just put a hanger in there. And it makes it go by like really fast and then you can just pick them all up at once i don't remember where i saw this but i used to just like sit here and put one hanger on at a time but i swear this is faster and then you can just pick them up all at once and hang them in the closet or on your clothes rack our closet's not very big so my clothes are like outside the closet on a clothes rack and my room's a mess don't look at my room behind me. This, I've shown me cleaning that off before. It never lasts. That's my makeup table vanity thing that I don't use to put my makeup on. Um, slash the place where I pile everything. Don't look at it, it's a mess. So see, now everything's on the hanger and I can just hang it up. Easy peasy. The kids just ran in from outside to tell me that we had a package from eBay. And I was like, I didn't order anything from eBay. I was like, are you sure it's for me? And then we go out there and sure enough, yes, my name is on it. And then I remembered, it's not for me. It is for the kids. It is from Laverne. Thank you, Laverne. She has sent the kids stuff before and me a cookbook. Um, you got Grogu from her. After we returned the other thing, because you already had the other thing, remember? And right? I got my and first you got your baby alive. Baby yep. alive in the whole entire world. Yep, so this is from Laverne, because she heard we were reading these and found a really good deal on the set. Why? Can you tell what it is? Yeah. Lily can. Uh, it even has a poster. Cute. It's the boxcar children. So we now own There's a dog. One through twelve. There is. Uh, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Ten, one through twelve. Which watch is which? <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a little like puzzle on the back. But yes, it'll look like it came in a, in a box car. Uh, so what do you say to Laverne? Thank, thank you. you. Um, so now we can read more. We finished the first one and we haven't read any more of them yet. But uh, we definitely, definitely will. Especially now that we have 1 through 12. Very cool. So the kids came in for a little bit, but they are back outside again now. And I am starting on dinner. It's like 5.30. Um, I was supposed to make the spaghetti squash the other night. We had spaghetti for dinner and they really wanted spaghetti squash with our spaghetti. And I forgot to make it. And after the kids went to bed, I saw it sitting over there and I was like, dang it. Lily's going to be so mad. And Andy was like, what? Why? And I was like, she really wanted spaghetti squash with spaghetti. And uh, we didn't have it. So instead, we are trying a new recipe tonight called spaghetti squash tots. So right now I just like cooked this spaghetti squash in the microwave. And now I'm 
like trying to get out the excess moisture and then I'm gonna put it in a mini muffin pan and make tots and we'll see how it goes it's, it's definitely something new I think we've only had spaghetti squash as like a substitute or like with our pasta when we have it with spaghetti we don't really like to just eat spaghetti squash uh, we prefer to like mix it in with our noodles then we still get pasta but we also get a serving of vegetables um, so I'm gonna make these this tonight and I don't know if everybody's gonna like it so I'm also still just gonna make some tater tots and then we're having um, sloppy joes so this is the only new thing I think I need to like change the paper towel on the bottom I want it to be, it says get out as much moisture as you can. Okay, here is the finished dinner. Andy is not home yet, so I did not make his plate. Hopefully he'll be here soon. Um, but I think we're going to go sit in the living room and watch something. We're not sure what yet. Um, we've got the little squash tots and then tater tots. And I already went ahead and tried one of the spaghetti squash tots. And it's pretty good. For some reason it was a little bit spicy. I didn't put any spice in there, but... Maybe I just got some peppercorn, like a piece of peppercorn on my tooth, on my tongue, because uh, that was that was a little spicy. But it's just salt and pepper and garlic powder. So Andy ended up coming home just as we were finishing up dinner, and then I cleaned up the kitchen. But I didn't show you all that because you'd already seen me clean everything up already a couple times during the day. So just know I did get my kitchen cleaned up at night, and then we spend some time playing Fall Guys as a family. We got Andy's Skillet Toast, Elijah's Dragon King, EE, -E, me, Tay Tay Danae, and then Lily is Magical Lily, I think. Um, and yeah, we just played that for a little while. And then I put the kids to bed and then I did some reading of my book. I am almost done with this. It's the Harlan Coben book, Runaway. It's really good. I really enjoy it. And this is only the second book of his that I've read, but both of them I have really enjoyed. So I'll definitely read more of his books and then watch. I know there's like a show, at least one show, a newer one that just came out recently. Um, so I'll definitely watch that at some point after I read the book because I like to read the books first. And then me and Andy had a snack. I had some apple and peanut butter and some cheese and crackers. And then we watched Fear the Walking Dead. We decided if we did want to watch it. So we have watched all of The Walking Dead, all of the Daryl Dixon show, all of um what is it dead city with maggie and negan and now we are watching i fear the walking dead and there's plenty of that to keep us entertained for a while but that is going to be it for this vlog i hope that y'all enjoyed it if you did make sure you leave me a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed down below if you haven't already you can come back on sunday and see that dinner that i made and see all my other videos i hope y'all have a great week and i will see y'all in the next one bye